um, you're on. Awesome. Thanks a lot, teamwork. We got there eventually. So welcome to the SMI community meeting, uh, April 28th. And um, this is the, the usual meeting where we kind of discuss more so the specification, not the, the bi-weekly meeting where we are discussing things like Service Mesh Federation. So we've got only a couple of um, discussion items, uh, an SMI controller update from myself, uh, a request for a bit of bike shedding on a PR from, from Bridget, and um, chat about some KubeCon EU, which is, is coming up next week, of course, which uh, SMI being a project is, is playing a big part in. And also um, Lee chatting about uh, aligning SMI, SMP and Meshery. So pretty good agenda there. Um, do, we, do we have any new folks on the call who would like to introduce themselves? If, if not, you know, be, be absolutely uh, free to stay silent. Alrighty. So shall I shall I kick things off then with uh, an update on the the SMI controller SDK? So where we've been going with that is we've got a an official PR which has been raised against the Go SDK, and that's to add conversion webhook capabilities to the existing SDK. So the approach that we're going to take in the the short term is that the the existing Go SDK, which is used by um, pretty much all of the existing adapters is going to be maintained alongside the, uh, the new controller SDK. And we're going to figure out an elegant way that those objects can, can eventually share the same space without any, any duplication. But we might need a little bit of, um, you know, just some, some clever GitHub actions or something in the, in the short term. But, but the intention is that both the new controller SDK and the existing Go SDK, the, the objects which are defined in there, Will um, will co will coexist and will be interchangeable, um, which will make the upgrade process smoother. What we're also doing is bringing conversion webhook capability to the old Go SDK. So, anybody who's who's using the the, the existing SDK will will be able to define conversion webhooks now, so that it'll make them easier to support the the newer versions of the specification as it's as it's released. So that, that's ongoing, just ongoing work there. And we'll see some more of that um, over the, the sort of the coming weeks. It's, it's pretty much um, Michelle and I have been plugging away through that. And next up, we have a request from Bridget. And I'm just opening, opening this up. So Bridget um, has, uh, I don't even try doing the screen sharing, so I'm just going to copy and paste the the PR into the chat there. But um, Bridget has raised a, a sort of a, a request for for comments, which is a clarification uh, of scope for service mesh interface, and that that clarification of of scope is coming from the multi cluster working group, and it's intended that we start to think about SMI as, a, as a, a specification which encompasses other workloads than just Kubernetes, specifically virtual machines, bare metal, and, and things like that. Now, that, that's not necessarily going to, to, to change the, the direction, but, but it would allow for elements of the specification which are um, specific to, to those platforms. I think this is a really good thing personally, because it, it, it enables the work that we're trying to kind of get through around multi-cluster and, and federation. And it, it also brings the, the capability that SMI is wider spread than, than Kubernetes, so we can support all of those other workloads that folks are using. So please um, take a look at that, add your comments, give it a thumbs up if uh, you like, and then we'll, we'll get that at some point merged into the charter, hopefully or not merge into the charter if you all disagree and think it's a terrible idea. Can we maybe time box that a little bit? Uh, because at the current point in time, it sounds like, you know, in, as we say, in the fullness of time, which is kind of like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Can we maybe say, so, you know, some expectations? Um, I mean, Bridget doesn't mention what the expectation is on there. Now, generally the way that we, 
we we kind of run run those things is that if it gets a um a sort of a, a quorum of votes from core maintainers um then then generally those things sort of um go in I, in my personal opinion i think this is a fairly sort of inoffensive suggestion and, and um something that's probably going to happen but let's say by the next the next meeting we that we can we can merge that in um in seven days time i think that's that should be plenty of time if that sounds sensible yeah um which would be before well so michael we're not having that multi-cluster conversation next week right, right. next week is, is kubecon you <clears throat> correct correct okay. so yes so that, that would actually be nice if we could uh, add kubecon next wednesday i understand that's where where we have our little uh, yeah. online session um yeah. maybe already report on that if someone asks like is that Cornelius specific but, well, well we recently decided to broaden the scope yeah yeah just because we define the specification in yaml doesn't doesn't limit the uh the use cases you could write a controller for anything which which i think is really 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 cool to be to be honest and and that's all from from these two points um lee next week is is kubecon i'll uh, hand it over to you yeah he, oh you know what i don't think that we have sharing abilities necessary oh maybe michael you might be able to change that that was exactly why I didn't. I didn't try sharing for what? Oh, oh yeah, like sorry. Uh, I need to. Uh, yes, let, let me. Um, oh, where is it? Allow multiple participants. Try again. There it is. Uh, very good. Um, so on this topic next week, uh, if you if you haven't seen a tweet about this, next week's KubeCon. Um, and like, like last time, I think it was only last time, um, we ended up, we have a, so SMI has, um, project office hours, um, for an hour actually, which, uh, on the surface of it feels like a long time. Um, so we have, we have a couple of things to, to organize around and for all of, um, the maintainers to participate in and, and all that aren't maintaining, but are engaged and interested to come, um, to come and engage and, and converse. So, um, those two things are a project office hour is scheduled for, well, I'm looking at the time and that looks, Michael, is that the time that I had, I think this is an hour off. Um, so it should be, yeah, unless, no, no, no. Okay, I'm doing my. So I had, yes, three to four central. Yes, that's what, what you shared for us yes oh, very good so th there's a there's um there's a session that's reserved for that hour i'll i'll if someone else doesn't i'll drop the link into that uh, session here um question for those so 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 i anticipate michael will um is going to do his best to be there so he's going to be um you know on the lit so so next Next week, when we when we host these office hours, we'll end up um, engaging with people, talking about the questions they have. We'll also have some slides in the background to use as fodder for a conversation. And to Michael's point, one of those slides would um, ideally and hopefully be that there's been the slightest verbiage tweakage in the charter that says Kubernetes and beyond. And uh, uh, so what I'm looking for is confirmation for those that think that they'll be there to um, you know, to, to sit on the panel and right. I, I would say the, the only challenging thing, or if it's not entirely clear, because I was just saying, you know, central, this is KubeCon EU, right? So this would be 7 a.m. for US West. So if you're on US West, you either get up very early or you skip that. <laughs> East, if you're, you know, somewhere in uh, US East, not a problem, but um, for or West, it's really early. The document says 6 a.m. <clears throat> Is that correct? Um, <laughs> so I have it done as four. Sorry, yes, that's 6 a.m. Okay, good. That's um, 6 a.m. As far as the slide with uh, folks, I know those are the maintainers. Um, 
I wonder if it needs updating. That might be a separate conversation. Yeah, the more the more the merrier. I think we should, um, you know. But that's I think that's the the, the panel, right? Yeah. But we were earlier talking about the so that the thing from six a.m. Right. Pacific or or two a.m. might uh, two p.m. might. This is the office hour we're talking about, right? And what you see here is the. Yeah, in this case, one and one and the same. So the the panel is the is what would be hosted over the office hour, or like the I think the two terms are being used interchangeably. That during the office hour we would um, people generally come by. You know, or a lot of times. Oh, sorry, have... sorry, my bad. Yes, sorry, my bad. I was mixing it up with something else. That it's also my calendar, but different thing. <laughs> sorry, apologies. Ignore me. There is a there. The topic of um, that is another topic to address, though, um, about um, to, to review the those that are maintaining and potentially have that list updated, or have have some move to emeritus, or invite new ones, or and part of that has been a topic of conversation in the past about well, what are those criteria? Uh, it was there's different ways for us to approach it. Um, one is to define it ourselves. Two is to lean into SIG contributor strategy and part of um, the guidance that they're giving for like what would constitute engagement and maintainership and what is maintainership and, and these things. Um, right now that's universally left to the, and will continue to be left to the individual projects, but they might provide some, some guidance as to what that is. We have an open issue to define what it means to be active. Uh, um, there are some uh, maintainers now that um, denounce the notion that there is the world is comprised of multiple meshes, that there's just one and only one mesh. And so the question is whether or not those, you know, <laughs> whether or not this, this project continues to be of interest to those people. Can I, Lee, can I table that? Um, I think that's a, yeah, yeah. a really, a really important thing that we, we, we should discuss. Why don't we, why don't we table a conversation for what would be well, 14 days time from today where we actually have that discussion um, as, a, as an agenda item about the core maintainers. Because I think when we originally set the guidelines out, there was some very loose stuff that we put in, which was around if you're not active within three months. But, but I think it also gives us the opportunity to bring new folks who've been contributing to, to SMI and participating in the community who are, who are maybe not in, in the sort of the core maintainers group. And, and also the opportunity to welcome them into to, to the group in a more formal aspect as well. So why don't we um why don't we add that to the agenda for our first meeting back after KubeCon? Because uh, I, I think that's a great a great thing for us to to talk about and formalize. And um, and if you can share some experience on that as well, if you wouldn't mind, can I can I ask you to to lead that agenda point? Because I, I literally know nothing about the 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 way of the other SIG working groups. Sounds great. Um... So the other thing that the project has is a booth, a virtual booth in the project pavilion. And so um, for any of you looking to coordinate on potential virtual handouts, um, uh, let me know. Um, we're over the deadline, um, but my understanding is that that may not be, so long as we're willing to do it ourselves, there's still, I think, the avenue to get those in. So, so for the rest, um, I guess, I guess the, the ask here is to move on. Is um, for those maintainers who might be available for that office hour, please let me know so we can um, represent you appropriately in the deck. For those um, maintainers um, that are going to be there as well, if there's additions or changes to the deck, please engage jump into the deck. Um, I just uh, 20 minutes ago quickly copied some slides from last year, last time to this time. So, so there's, on that, I think probably ready for the next agenda item. Gee, is, there somewhere, is there somewhere specific uh, that folks can find this document? Can you, I'll drop a link to that uh, in chat or something. Yeah, you bet. It's um, also, it's in the last, a um, couple of uh, meeting rooms, I think. Okay, cool. Not that, that's a great question. Yeah, so back back over to to you, Lee. Um, so now you, I believe you, you Kenny, you're going to talk about service mesh interface. 
service mesh performance and mesh rein and how those uh, three three items align. Yeah, so um, the genesis, so we're only gonna make it so far into this particular discussion, but, um, and I, I've got the wrong deck up, so otherwise I'd, let me share a deck and I'll look for it here. But um, so, so um, some of you reviewed a blog post that went out yesterday about Meshery being the conformance tool for SMI. And that's been <laughs> way too long in the works. Um, right. There's more um, engagement with each of the service mesh projects, each of the service mesh teams about how they're empowered to self, uh, you know, there's more about that tool and, and to engage with each, each of the teams. Um, the uh, Meshery as a tool uh, and service mesh performance as a specification centered on performance. Uh, those have both been proposed uh, a couple of months ago for adoption into the CNCF. They were up for review a month ago. Um, the, CNCF, the TOC didn't make it down that far on the list to evaluate them. They made it down that far yesterday. And, um, and they have an open question. And um, well, they have an open question as to, they'd like to understand um, how the projects align and if they should come together or if they should be apart and how do, how do they align and and um, and so we won't really make it very far in this discussion today but i want to bring that up as consideration fodder for consideration for all of you potentially next time we meet like um, or maybe in advance of that is to send out some thoughts on what that might look like um, one way or the next but to help each of you independently um, contemplate that um, to lead the question a little bit, or <laughs> I'll say that uh, um, that I think all of the above is, so they want the projects in the CNCF. Um, and then the, the question is just, you know, how do these line marry up and, and how complementary and um, or overlapping are they? And, and from my perspective, they are, um, well, completely complementary that um, performance is quite long and deep and wide and, if some Intel folks were here on the phone or some Red Hat folks that the maintainers of SMP were on the phone, uh, which by the way, they need to be consulted in the same for Meshery and the, but the, the talk with the TOC was sort of giving this guidance and the TOC members were doing quite a lovely job of trying to quickly understand a bunch of projects. Um, or don't focus on the space and um, are looking to SIG network for some of this guidance. And so, um, uh, so I want to bring it up today as a food, as fodder for consideration. Um, it's, I think the myopic perspective or the, the very quick understanding of what Meshery is to the, the TUC members that were considering this is that uh, Meshery does two things. It is the canonical implementation of SMP and that it is the conformance tool for SMI. And so it's sort of a spec tool and um, not realizing that it is a lot bigger than that. It, it also implements um, OM. It, it also uh, manages uh, WebAssembly filters. It also, uh, there's, there's a list that doesn't mean that it is inappropriate necessarily to bring them together. Maybe that's a part of their think. There's some brainstorming and sort of thinking a lot. I mean, immediately it strikes me as not, not, not what the projects were designed to do, be and do, but um, the last thought that I'll part with here is that, uh, well, now I, I, uh, I lost my train of thought, but, but it's a, it's a topic to address, to consider. I'm supportive of, 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 of all of the above, Lee. I mean, um, I think SMP is, is a really great initiative. Um, I think being able to sort of sensibly understand the performance of a, of a, of a system is, is absolutely essential. And then I think with, with service mesh complexity, like there's, there's a heck of a lot that um, can be done by, by having a specification, which, which gives you a common view on that. And, and there is a definite sort of analogy to, to the, the service mesh metrics capability, which exists in SMI. Um, and yeah, and of course, mesh is a great, great tool and a good, sort of good reference implementation of SMI as well as a, a consumer of the specification, so.
Yeah. I, um, the oh, I remember what I was going to say. Part of the the thinking aloud by a couple of few of the TOC members was, well, and, and this was really, I think I think the va like two thirds of the functionality of Meshery are unbeknownst to them, even though, you know, just be just because they're short on time. But it was the notion that well, hey, if we're the CNCF, and um, we're trying to help you know, inform the world about what a service mesh is and, and what it does. Like if these projects amalgamated, would this be the sanctification by which it's articul uh, you know, articulated that here's all of the meshes, here's what it takes to be a mesh, here's all of their capabilities and whether or not they're in compliance with these specifications. And, and it was, there are holes and there are like discrepancies or overlaps and underlaps and that type of a thought. Um, but, but, that, but I'm just trying to convey to the best of my ability, sort of the sentiment, the thinking aloud that, that individuals are doing and so. So I'll try to, I'll try to provide some more context and, and slides and things as over the next couple of weeks until we, we meet to help people consider that. Um, Yep. Meshery addresses a space that's, well, it's, a, it's about twice as big as SMI, sort of SMI, S&P, another one, another one. It's a long roadmap. We we're being asked to engage with the chaos engineering team and write a white paper on chaos engineering in part because that's part of Meshery's roadmap as well as chaos engineering. Um, Meshery's, while it implements SMI, it's also had a hard time, well, I don't know how to, like, it, like OSM, maybe as an example, um, desires to, imp to to bring forth some capabilities that aren't defined by SMI. And so um, it, um, Nick, Nick, as an example, and I have, have, and Michelle have talked about um, how to help speed along maybe certain existing specifications or potentially, you know, propose new ones to expand its scope such that, um, you know, such that these things stay in cohesion, you know, or, or like with, with respect to mesh anyway, in SMI. And that's I am, um, I just wanted to, sorry, I'm just, just interrupting you, Lee, just to do a quick um, time check there. Now it is 6.30, but yep. we have some technical issues uh, in the, in the meeting. So if, um, if anybody wants to, to continue the conversation, I'm, I'm happy to, to run along for another, another 10 minutes or so, but, if, but if folks do have to, to drop, um, then of course we, you know, we, we fully, fully understand that. Those folks who want to get their their, their teas. So, um, so I know that I know that some folks might need to go. Actually, since Sunku came on, it it bears repeating for his part. But but um, anyone else have comments or before him? I I think my just initial take is that it feels like it would be somewhat useful to look at SMP independently of some of the measure stuff, just because it potentially is like a much broader scope. Uh, and it may be more real, like, I think there may be some stakeholders that could have an interest in the SMP stuff, whether that be some of like the open telemetry groups or other stuff like that, that, that may be focused on just that specific part uh, without trying to get up to speed on the entirety of like what the meshery project is doing. I, it, it does feel like it would be helpful to like articulate a case for how these are two different things, even though they, there is some overlapping scope between them. And I think as uh, originally the, the both the two the products were submitted to the CNCF as individual items. That, that's correctly, isn't it? So meshery was, was, was as an application submitted to the CNCF for inclusion and SMP as a specification in the same way as, as SMI. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, sorry, got delayed with another office call, but yeah, I agree with that analysis. Um, uh, I think, yeah, I mean, uh, there's should be a good correlation with work going on in SMI and SMP. And um, uh, in, in a measure by itself is a, a separate entity. Definitely there's a, um, a relationship with respect to what we could do together, but um, the scope itself can be separated out. 
so maybe I'm missing the context. So um, are there any next steps being discussed here or? Uh... So I, I guess that's, that's the next question. <laughs> so should we, um, I think maybe the best thing to do, Lee, is cool. if you, again, I'm like, I think you did this to me last time, so I can kind of get my own back in some ways, but like, um, would you be able to, to give very quick TLDR to the group next time about SMP and meshery? And then maybe what we do is we go away for a session, we can do some thinking, and then we can have a discussion about uh, the, the core, the, the action items that we, we should take. Does that, does that make, sound like a sensible course? It does to me. It also gives an opportunity to, for the other two projects implicated, um, and I'm glad that Sunku is on because he because he represents one of them um, very directly, and uh, for them to kind of go through the same sort of procedure of presenting SMI and what it's you know. So yeah, thanks for that, Nick. That helps. Okay, I have unfortunately to go rather soonish and I don't know what happens if I as the host of the recording leave. So I don't wanna I think we're wanna good. I have a job too, so <laughs> we want we won't have any more notes either. So <laughs> I, I think that we're at a pretty decent stopping point. Awesome. I've run out of bad jokes. So I have to uh, go too. I should tell you, I'm looking forward to updating you on the multi-cluster progress next time. Uh, we, we are making okay. progress. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Come yeah, back for more, please. All righty. Well, awesome. Thank you very, very much. See you next week. See you all next time. Bye. Cheers. Bye now.